Many years have passed, and the stone Stella here still reminds me of that afternoon. The wind stirred ripples across a pond, while lotuses at the drifting fragrance hall were in full bloom. Since then, I've lived in this beautiful dreamland for more than 400 years. If you're interested, I'll tell you what a wisteria has witnessed over the years. In the early years of Zhongde Emperor's reign during the Ming Dynasty, Wang Shenchen, a retired imperial envoy, built the humble administrator's garden based on the site of Da Hong Temple. When Zhen Ming, a painter representing the Wu School of Painting, was invited to design the garden and asked to integrate painting's poetic style into his designs. Taking advantage of abundant groundwater in Suzhou, he skillfully used water as the main theme in the layout. I was later planted by him in this garden. The water was divided into several parts by two islands, houses, curved bridges, flowers and trees, surrounding the spot with rich spatial layers. The beauty of the garden consoled the mind of its owner. With the gates closed, you were in a free and unfettered world. It is no accident that the humble administrator's garden was born around the Yangtze River Delta, or Jiannan. During the Ming Dynasty, Jiannan was a well-developed area. The government was rich and people were well off. Men of letters and rich merchants gathered in Suzhou to create backyard gardens according to their own aesthetics. Differing from the magnificence of the imperial gardens in the north, private gardens here are smaller and more exquisite, integrating culture and art in a harmonious way. All these make Suzhou Gardens both a representative of Jiannan Gardens and the aesthetic peak of Chinese classical gardens. In addition to its beautiful look, the charm of Jiannan style gardens also lies in the ancient ecological wisdom, which is still being cultivated today. Stacking the local earth into mountains, storing water into a pool, and acquiring the principles of nature, you can create a closed loop ecosystem in your own courtyard. Although small in scale, it can adjust the climate of the home and purify the water. This wisdom of adapting the environment to local conditions was impressive back then and remains so today. In the past 400 years, owners of the humble administrator's garden came and went, but I'm still here in full bloom, welcoming people and bidding them farewell. They were all attracted by the exquisite design and the beauty of the oriental landscape. Now I'm still here, waiting to blossom again next year.